All righty then, let's talk about the 2024 uh, Chicago Bears, and we accumulate, we accumulate, well, we'll run through these, and we get to the point where we just got one NFC North preview show video, and I will get to that when I pick a winner, which I don't want to, but I will. Um, I really like talking to betting or previewing the Lions in prediction way, but I will do that. But uh, let's talk about the 2024 Chicago Bears off season they've done a lot um possibly traded away cj stride last year um you know could have took a uh took a shot at uh they could have took a shot at uh uh and messed it up and got bryce young but we don't know bryce young in a messed up situation to be honest man and um yeah that's unfortunate man uh he's in a messed up situation so off season wise, man, this is let's see if we can get a more current uh let's see if we get more current about what they got going on. Uh so here we go. We're gonna use uh Walter football. Uh, they're a little bit more current on what they got going on. Obviously we know they went out there and got some dog ass receivers. Uh, retain DJ Moore, which I think he the best number two receiver in the league, or one of them. Um, Keenan Allen, he gonna move all the way around the formation. They got the kid out of Washington, Romeo or Duzier. I don't know, I mispronounced his name. No disrespect. Um, the Bears finished seven and ten last year. Were excellent to close the season when Justin Fields returned from injury. The offense was able to match the intensity of the defense with bolstered by the accusate the acquisition of Montez Sweat. When I loved him coming out of Texas A and M, I believe. Uh, he just shit on the commanders. Now, if you don't know, last year they traded number one pick to the Carolina uh, Panthers for a haul. Uh, apparently, the Carolina Panthers owner wanted Bryce Young. Some people want to see Jay Stride. That's always the, the question when somebody get it wrong. Um, heard that with Miami and Blind Flores and, and, and Stephen Ross over that quarterback. But, um, you know, they pick wrong. Chicago could easily pick Bryce Young. They traded the pick. Uh, could have got C.J. Stroud. Who knows? Will Stroud be as good as he is in Houston and Chicago? It's like watching that Disney show, What If, or Marvel show, What If. Now, they veteran additions included DeAndre Swift, former Detroit Lion, Keenan Allen, tight end Gerald Everett, which I think is underrated. And I like their tight end Cole Komet. Jack Coran, uh, guard, offensive tackle Jack Coran. I don't know who that is. Carhan, Mac Pryor, guard, center, uh, Ryan Bates. Coleman Sheldon, center. Uh, defensive end Jacob Martin, Kevin Binyard, safety, solid guy, and uh, Jonathan Owen to Simone Biles' uh, wife, gymnastic superstar, safety. Now they picked a quarterback in the draft, uh, Caleb Plant, Romeo Aduzin, Aduzier, whatever his name is, from Washington Huskies, really good receiver. Could have been the second or third best receiver in that draft, depending on who you ask. Could be the first offensive tackle, Kyron. Uh, I can't even pronounce Amagak Jigi, whatever, punter, Tory Taylor. DN Austin Booker, um, Bears rookie, uh, for uh, Bears rookie, but I don't know what that is. They lost fields, they lost running back Dante Foreman. I think we just got a neck injury somewhere. Wide receiver Darnell Mooney, tight end Mercedes Lewis, Cody White out here, uh, you know, guard center Lucas Patrick, defensive end Yannick Anconic, Ancon- Ancon- uh, D tackle Justin Jones, and they left safety Eddie Jackson, who I guess his play fell off. So um, they got a really, 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 really uh, talented roster. Um, only really thing, only thing I really I didn't like about what Chicago did was I don't think they invested enough in a running game. You know, DeAndre Swift had a solid season last year with the uh, he had a solid season with the the Eagles. With the Eagles, had one of the better offensive line. He was running for five yards before he actually was touched. Right. And I just think, you know, he's more of a scat back. We've seen in Detroit. He's going to be a dynamic back when healthy. But I think they probably should have invested a little bit more in the running game with the more the power running game. And I think them investing in uh, so many receivers, got a good, you know, tight end and Cole Komet, good receiving tight end and, and Gerald Everett, good, you know, uh, tight end and Mercedes Lewis blocking tight end. Uh, he got to be like 40, ain't he? But, you know, when you look at it, uh, DeAndre Swift and Khalil Herbert, they more scat back. So that lets you know, you know, offensively, they're going to spread it out and allow uh, Justin, uh, I mean, Caleb Williams to air the ball out. Now, did they make the right decision to get rid of Justin Fields? As of right now, looking at preseason, 
and Fields not beating out Russell Wilson, which I think he never had a fair chance to do so. Uh, right now, yes, but only time will tell. Um, they had to pay Justin Fields, and this deals questions about, you know, um, you know whether he's going to be ready. I mean, you got the number one, you know, you got the number one pick two years in a row. I think, uh, like the DMX song said, "Lord, show me, give me a sign." I think the Lord is actually giving them a sign right here. Um, so I think, uh, in my humble opinion, um, this was the smart thing to do. Uh, generational talent, watch them come in for uh, <clears throat> uh, the brother, uh, man, Spencer Rattler in Oklahoma and ball out. I thought he was a lot bigger in stature, you know what I'm saying? Um, in my humble opinion, um, you know, I thought he was a lot bigger in stature, bro. Like, I, I thought he was like 6'3, six, 6'4, six, like quarterbacks getting shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter, you know what I'm saying? But he definitely can slang it. He definitely got the athletic ability. And he may not be the fastest, you know, guy out there, you know, but he just got really good wiggle. You know, he's a really good athlete. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, so, uh, um, but, uh, you know, so, yeah, but, uh, I think they're making a mistake. I think early on, especially if I'm playing outdoors in Chicago, in the cold, um, he from DC and some people talk about him might be struggling in the cold. You heard Dion say he didn't want his sons going somewhere cold or whatever. It's a mindset. It's a mindset. Aaron Rodgers, Southern California kid. He mastered the cold. I mean, other uh, California kids, Southern California, or I think he's from the Bay or Northern California. And, uh, uh, you know, uh Tom Brady master plan in New England. So but uh but uh but yeah I think he'd be fine. He's from DC. Uh get cold down there. Um but uh yeah I think he'd be perfectly fine. I just don't I think when you got a young when you got a young guy like uh you know when you got a young guy like uh like him, I think, you know, they continue to invest. Obviously, we just said they continue to invest in uh, – they continue to invest in the running game, right? So, I think they should continue – I mean, invest in the offensive line. They should invest in more into the power running game. Maybe should have kept Dante Foreman, in my opinion. Now, I'm not saying that uh, DeAndre Swift can't run between the tackles. It's more, you know – it's more about him, you know, uh, durability wise, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, and he could do some things out inside the tackles, catch the ball, you know, run outside the tackle, catch the ball and receive the ball. So, you know, he can do everything, but I just think they need more of that David Montgomery power back. They can lean on and hand it to about 20, you know, 20 to 15 to 20 times a game. I think that's what they, they pretty much missing in my humble opinion. Um, and I think they're signaling that they're going to throw that football around. And that can open up to him getting hurt, you know, throwing a lot of interceptions. And I think they should be focusing on handing the ball off about 25, 30 times a game. And then, you know, trying to get the ball to their playmakers. But they're clearly saying that they're going to trust the golden arm of Caleb Williams. And that can open them up. If that offensive line don't come correct or he hold on to the ball a little bit too much, that can open it up for, for, for him to uh, – for him to get into some uh some trouble, to be honest, he can out he can go out there and get hurt. You know, he can literally go out there and get hurt. But other than that, man, when you look at their defense, I mean, they played really, really well. They played the Lions, I mean, on my team, you know, really, really well, man. You know, last year and they added some monsters, and it was funny to see Eddie uh Eddie Jackson go. You know, he was like a thorn in our side for years, but in football, you just never know. You know, you just never know when your expiration date is coming. So many hits, so many blows, you know what I'm saying? You know, um, you know, it, it could be a wrap. It could be a wrap. So, um, but, you know, nonetheless, uh, his date came and they moved on. And, you know, you look at them out there, they got a good defense, you know, Montez Sweat. I don't know too much of the other guys out there. Tremaine Edmonds, I was upset they got him last year. 
at freak athletic linebacker. I think he got a couple brothers in the league. Uh, Jaquan Brisker loved him coming out the draft, and I guess they handed the reins over to him at that safety spot. Kevin Binyard, he old as hell, though, but Binyard is good at getting interceptions. You know, he's been good at turning that football over nine-year pro. You know, south of, you know, HBCU, Tennessee State, and he good at getting picks. Eight, four, five, one, five, four. He only had one last year for the Philadelphia Eagles, and, you know, the Eagles kind of moved, injured the last two seasons. The Eagles kind of moved on from him. Uh, and went back to Gardner Johnson, C.J. Gardner Johnson. Uh, Jalen Johnson, one of the best uh, corners in the game. He made some critique last year or this offseason about why he wasn't in the top 100. He was an all-pro, and rightfully so. So they, they got some ballers over there, man. It's just going to be how good can Caleb Williams do be. And the, the obvious question is, can he do what C.J. Stroud did for Houston? And, you know, Stroud didn't have all the weapons that he had, you know. Um, not only, but he made Nico better. He made Tank Dell, you know, rookie good. And Noah Brown had a big game for them. But, you know, would it surprise me if the Bears made the playoffs and won a division? No. I've seen funnier things happen. And Caleb Williams is an exceptional talent. Where I think they went wrong at, they worried about getting more. Uh, they got the offense. They got a lot of guys on the offensive line. But they worried about getting receivers over protecting him in the run game, in my opinion. So I think they should have did a better job. Um, with more power run game for him, but um, I think that I think they have a solid season. They'd be right where they were last year, seven ten, uh, right around that mark. Um, they'd be around that mark, and next year they probably be a dangerous team that you gotta look out for. So um, check out the NFC North playlist. Hit the link tree. Find me on X, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, uh, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Appreciate the love, support, peace.